Ridge and the Vitamin and Herb Stores. And today I'm going to give you a recipe for healthy kale chips. Now here at our store, we make them in packages. We have a dehydrator that keeps it at 118 degrees. Now anything 118 degrees or less enables the enzymes to survive in the vegetables. So if you've got a dehydrator with that kind of setting, it would be best. If you don't, you're going to grab the oven, set it at its lowest setting that you possibly can, and it's usually 250, 275 degrees. We take kale. Now, a lot of people are not familiar with kale, and they just remember it as being kind of a bitter type of vegetable. But what you'll do with the kale is you're going to get a nice sponge, and I've already taken this out of the rubber bands. You're going to take the kale chips, and you're going to kind of pull it along the top. You get something that looks like about like that. You're going to toss it with about two tablespoons of, now mind you, this is cold pressed extra virgin organic olive oil. And then we're going to pick USA, gluten free, non GMO, nutritional yeast flakes. And there's many different brands, not just this one. But I'm looking for USA non GMO forms. Pink Himalayan salt does not raise blood pressure. It uh, actually has a crystalline structure to it that's actually very good for you and gives you some protection against uh, some of the radiation from cell phones. Order a teaspoon of that added to the mixture. Once you've got this all torn up, you're going to toss it with your quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes. You're going to lay it in just a nice little cookie sheet pan, shove it in the oven, or in your dehydrator at a setting. And the dehydrator takes it overnight usually at about 100 yeah, 18 degrees. But in your oven, probably within about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how nice and crispy you want. And you'll have a great snack for the kids and for yourself. That's rich in carotenoids, lutein, lots of good vitamins, lots of good fiber, chlorophyll to oxygenate the blood. Thank you.